Maxim Grishim is slated to go down against uh, Philip Lins. And this looks like a one-way street pretty much for Maxim Grishim. 6 foot 3, 78 inches of reach out of Stary Oskol Russia. Fedor student, master of sport in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Grishin is riding on score, 32 wins, 9 losses, 2 draws. And uh, Grishin is the former M1 selection 2010 champion. He defeated William Knight, Gajimura Dantigula, lost to Dustin Jacobi and Marcin Tibura, but he has never been a 2 6 fiver, you know. He has never been uh, a heavyweight fighter. And uh, Maxim Grishin only missed weight once, but I don't think he's going to repeat that all over again. At PFL, he was having great results. Very experienced, and Philip Lins also competed at PFL. He's six foot two, seventy nine inches of reach, black belt in BJJ. But he's slowing down. His chin is questionable. Fifteen five is his record. Lost to Tanner Bowser. Lost to Andre Arlovski. That victory over Marcin Prachnio. Marcin Prachnio is so unpredictable, man. He can beat the best guy in the division. He can lose uh, to a total bomb. There's no rule. I mean, there's no rule with him. And uh, Philip Lins used to be. A great guy at PFL. He used to be a champ, defeated Kaio, Alien Carr, Jared Rushhold, Josh, Co Josh Copeland, Alex Nicholson. But he was losing to high level names, including Vadim Nemkov at Bellator, Kleber Silva, Kelly Anundson. He is close in the end of his career, and uh, anything aside of uh, Grishin's win would be a massive, massive upset. So I'm going to go with Maxim Grishin for the victory. Maximus for the victory.